I'm Mariah Dodd. Uh, my traditional name is Skyup Salitza. I'm a member of the Lummi Nation. I'm the health education manager at the Lummi Tribal Health Center currently. I'm an artist in my community. I'm an auntie. Um, I think that the most, at the, at the most basic level to be a rebel is to actively decide to think differently than the status quo, to ask questions. Um, as an artist and, it is, and as, as a designer, I feel like one of my greatest strengths is to ask questions that are different than what we hear on a regular basis. And I think even in those small ways, that makes myself and anyone else who does that a rebel. How do we interact with the world around us is the question that should be asked throughout time. How do we interact with our land, our water, our, our neighbors, our foes? How do we interact with what life gives us and what we ask from life? I think that my biggest, my biggest stake is to encourage love, which sounds silly and is not very, it doesn't seem like really hardcore or anything, but love what you do, to choose to love what you do, love the breath that you take every morning, love the world around you, and love the opportunity to give thanks for all of those things. We, as a society, have become so entitled in our consumption, in what we can buy, and in what we can hold over others and it I think will be the downfall of our society to give time to things is to love things to tell each other that you love each other matters so much to voice words of appreciation and you know when you see somebody doing something that you that makes you feel joy tell them like say it i don't know if anybody else feels this way but i feel like covid and the isolation of what we have all been through has you know isolated us it's kept us from having conversations with each other that are bigger and deeper than just like typing over a screen or sending a text or an email or whatever. And voicing the way that you feel about someone, encouraging someone to be whoever they are, to create whatever they make. That is, there's so much love in that in itself. When things in society that happen that really do suck, like the water movement, the uh, land back movement, the Roe v. Wade being overturned, all of these things that kind of stifle individuals. You can't, I mean, you can't really love that. You can't love what's happening. And I feel like the passive part of who I am wants to encourage acceptance, but to accept the things that keep others from being able to protect their surroundings and protect themselves is an act of violence and oppression. And there isn't room for that in this world. But on the same hand, there isn't, there has to be some room for feeling the violence of that and accepting it to turn it around. You can't ever change anything that you haven't accepted the standard of. I think that people that don't give a fuck need to get fucked. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to reconcile, reconcile that because I feel like I personally have had to not take a lot of time to consider what's happening on a global scale on a national scale on i'm like my scope has had to be so personal to get through the last couple of years and 
there is so, because there is so much violence around us on a regular basis, it's like watching the news feels terrible. Understanding where society is and what we have become feels terrible. And so I feel like my personal approach has been to just like love as much as I can through as much as I can, whether it's loving what I'm making, loving the people around me, uh, or loving learning what we can do. We all have different passions and we all have different stakes in society. And we all have a different call to action in this world. And the best thing that each one of us can do is to listen to it. And I find myself taking a lot of time to listen. Listen to the quiet, listen to the way that the world pulses around me. And that can be really overwhelming in itself. <laughs> Are you gonna let the bastards grind you down? Fuck no. Absolutely not. <laughs>